Welcome to an episode of Within the Bee, where I tell you some wild stories and what goes on in my head as these stories are happening. So here is kind of a two-parter, okay? And it's about my kid and and a funny story, and it's a, it's a funny parenting story as well. So anyway, here's the picture, okay? We're visiting family in Massachusetts. She is two, maybe three years old, okay? Probably two, because she's like still potty training and all that stuff. She's in diapers, so she's really young. And anyway. It was clear to me that she needed to go to the bathroom. I had, you know, she's in diapers. I, I got to help her out. So she's potty training. She's in the process. So, so normally, you know, we'd go to the bathroom together. I'd help her get out of her diaper. She'd hop on the toilet, do her business, call it a day. Okay, no problem. Well, this time, this very special moment in time of which she will never let me live down. And I don't know if she remembers this or she just has heard the story so many times. She thinks it's hilarious. So she likes reminding me of this story all the time for some reason she's like you know five now so anyway <laughs> going to the bathroom you know maybe she said she had to go i forgot what the deal was when she was two but we go to the bathroom in massachusetts at my my family's house and and we're at the commode and it's like okay i'm gonna take this diaper off like i do all of the time and she's gonna get on the toilet and that's okay well and that's not what happened so you normally take and if you're not a parent, listen very carefully. And if you are a parent, you'll probably uh, really relate to this baloney. So, you know, you take the diaper off, or maybe you check first and see what you're dealing with. Take the diaper off, and, well, I didn't check. And I should have checked. It didn't feel like a full diaper, but I should have checked, and I didn't check. So what I did was, if she was facing the other way, you know, like if she's facing me, you know, I just grabbed my hand, and I, I slid slid my thumb down her back to try to take this diaper off and um it was full yeah she was full of crap that day and i found out hands on i just went <clears throat> and i gotta tell you the water in the sink was not hot enough to clean my shitty thumb <laughs> Oh, I was ruined. I was ruined for like two days. I just, you know, like I'd go to eat something. I'm like, <sighs> like I know where it's been. Like, oh, yeah. I was <laughs> so I just, <clears throat> oh, right. I get the diaper off and oh my God, I pull my thumb out. It looks like Jimmy Neutron. It looks like soft serve chocolate ice cream. You know, it's just sort of, it's like, <gasps> you know. <laughs> she's got to go to the bathroom i'm like hang on kid you know i run to the sink and i'm like washing this off like oh no <laughs> oh get her on the toilet she does her business she's fine we get her a new diaper cleaner off oh my god i was ruined it was absolutely ruined the uh you know the accidental poop thumb if you've ever had that i don't recommend it <laughs> so anyway flash forward like two years she's now four and she's heard the story. She brings the story up. Maybe she remembers the story. I don't know. She retells it perfectly. And uh, just randomly, we'll be in the car. She'll be like, Dad, you remember that time that you stuck your thumb in my poop? And I'm like, yes. Yes. I'll never I'll never forget that. And she likes, she likes bringing it up. She thinks it's funny. She likes poop jokes. I don't know. She loves that story. We're in a Dollar General now when she's four. This is two years after the fact. And it's packed and it's during the pan oh well, you know the height of the p word youtube probably doesn't like it so everyone's like kind of weird and, and distancing and, and all that stuff and and we're at this dollar general in pennsylvania <laughs> and she's a very social kid right so she'll talk to anybody adults kids everything in between it doesn't matter she'll talk to dogs and plants and so she's hitting it off with these random kids that are around and you know me and the parents are doing the, this thing like the hey you know, uh, and they're just doing their thing and whatever. They're not being destructive or nothing. And she's like, look, my dad got me a candy bar. You know, the other kid's like, look, my mom got me a squirt gun. It's, it's hilarious. She's hitting it off. Anyway, she goes, hey, do you want to know a story? And I know my kid well enough that if I hear her go, hey, do you want to know a story? I go, uh-oh. Anyway, she she gets all the parents attention at this point because she's running around and all of the parents all of the people in the store and it's a packed dollar general way more than what it should have been that day in that time you know 
and everyone's just kind of watching her. Like it's like the amusement because the you know the tellers are taking a while for sure. I'm sure good reason, and it's fine. So we're all having a good time, just like being introverted but watching the children play. And she goes, "Hey, do you all want to hear a story?" And it's like, "Oh, what could she possibly bring up?" And I'm not gonna tell her to like be quiet or nothing. It's like, no, you got a voice. Like you can use it, whatever you know. And if you you misuse it or there's some big consequences, we'll talk about it and deal with it. So. Oh my god, oh boy, here we go, here we go, what's the story? Now she's she's captivated the entire Dollar General. The entire, the whole, the cashiers, there's like 30 customers, there's children, there's adults, oh my god, right? There's probably a guy in the bathroom, it's irrelevant. So the, she goes, hey, do you want to hear a story? And of course the kids and the, the dad was like, oh, sure. And of course, hey, if a kid comes up to me and goes, hey, you want to hear a story? I'm like, bet, because it's probably going to be wild. And it was, she goes, hey... When I was little and I was potty training, and she's for some reason like 10 decibels louder than she normally is, my dad stuck his thumb in my poop. <laughs> oh, I don't embarrass easy. I don't embarrass easy at all. I was red in the face. I was absolutely a tomato, right? And all the parents, some are laughing. The kids are think it's hysterical. Other parents look at me like I'm doing this, like, recreationally. You know, like, that was just something I enjoyed doing. So people are, like, you know, looking at me like I'm kind of weird. So now it's like, I, I, and that was her whole story. She ended it there. And I'm like, kid, like, you know, I hope you tell them, like, the rest. Like, it was an accident, you know. Like, I was trying to help you use the toilet. It's too late. She already told the story. And I look like a creep. And I'm embarrassed. And I'm red in the face. Oh, my God. I was dying. Roasting. At this Dollar General, she just absolutely smoked me with that. Oh, man, and all the parents are laughing. Meanwhile, by the way, I'm practically at the end of the line, okay? So I have the whole rest of the line to go through. So I'm in there like another 15 minutes red as a tomato. And then she's like, hey, you guys want to hear another story? I'm like, hey, Carly, maybe fucking, you know, maybe you gotta cut that out, if you will. That'd be kind of neat. <laughs> oh, kid's too funny. So, yeah, that's the uh, the thumb and poop story, if you will. So, hey, on that note, hope you live long and love on. <laughs>